Good morning. Bon Crowder here, Nick Knack Yak in the Mash Shack. It is episode 39. It's August 6th. It's Thursday, August 6th. We're talking about cordless power tools. Yes, that is happens to be something that is kind of a knickknack in the Mass Shack. Only because I haven't returned it to the garage and I'm totally getting in trouble for that one these days. Uh, you can um, go to math4.com slash KKY for all previous episodes of Nick Knack Yak and the Mass Shack. I do this every morning, <clears throat> every weekday morning at, you know, I should rewind and do that over. I do this every weekday morning at, hey, Cammy, every weekday morning on Periscope at 6 a.m. Eastern or 5 a.m. Central. Thanks for the hearts. So, hey, Rock Daddy. Yeah, you know what? I wondered if that whole power tool thing was going to get a few more men in here. Just because it's math doesn't mean it's not cool because, you know, we do have power tools here. So, um, anyway, so we are talking about, here, let me put it this way, the rigid cordless drill. So, my husband used to do... Um, he used to have the, the, I think they were green. What was the other power drill that was cordless? Anyway, he had tons of those. And for some reason, I mean, he had lots. Like he had the drill and the flashlight and the uh, circular saw and the jigsaw and the whole kit and caboodle. It's like everything. And then all these power, these power packs that you could, and then the little recharger dewies. Tons of them. And all of a sudden... Hi, Illogic. What a great handle. <clears throat> all of a sudden, this one shows up. I'm like, all right, so we're just like switching. Um, so it's really interesting because it has a light. So when I turn it on, you can see the light. Hang on. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So I'm drilling, drilling, and it stays on. So that's kind of cool because, you know, just because you're not drilling doesn't mean you're not trying to do something and, and see. So it's still on. Um, now, oh, didn't, and it goes out. So um, I'm not really sure what all these numbers up here are, but that's kind of cool and um, pretty mathy because realistically, everything has to be measured and powered. To, I don't know what this is either. What happens if I do that? Oh, look, there's a one. Maybe that's the speed. I don't, I don't have any idea. So um, we have all kinds of levers and gadgets and there's, oh, there's my light again. It's, re no, no, I think reverse is down here because I have this little right here. So that's one direction and that's the other direction. So, and then right in the middle, I think is like a lock. So. So that was a good idea though, but I don't know. Oh, maybe it has a one and a two on it. So I'm not really sure. Oh, look, I can rotate this. Maybe, nope, that doesn't. Oh, perhaps that's the speed. Here, let me see. Hey there. Good seeing you guys in here. Okay, so that's a one. Let's go up and maybe to a 10, 11, because, you know, this one goes to 11. I'm not seeing a big difference. I have no idea what all that does. You know, and no doubt Judson's going to get this thing back and he's going to go, what did you do to my drill? Anyway, so, and then you can take the battery off, theoretically, and recharge it. Yeah, I think these are designed so that women can't take the batteries off so that they don't mess with their husband's tools. Yeah, I can't get it off. There's this really interesting thing right here though. See that? It's like a it's like a little screw hole. Like, what do you what do you screw on this thing that's so amazing that you gotta have its very own screw hole? I don't know. So anyway. Oh, temperature's on the bottom. You better not charge it outside the temperature or a little, I don't know, 
explode or freeze or just not work very well. So hyperlithium iron, I, iron, hyperlithium ion, hyper, because you don't want just a lithium, lithium ion battery these days, you need a hyper one. All right, so that's really, um, that's all I got. And um, obviously I brought it in here so I could put some stuff up. Um, I'm mounting my, my uh, ram mount balls again that I found out and stole from the husband. So, um, so yeah, and then I just haven't returned it to the garage and he hasn't needed it. So he hasn't complained that it's missing. So bad wife. I will take that in today. Thank you for watching. We are live on Periscope right now. Feel free to tap to give me some hearts. Why the rigid brand? Um, so the question is, why is it rigid, rigid brand rather than, I forget the other ones. You know, I don't know. I, I really don't know why rigid. Um, although, I mean, like I said, we had tons of the other stuff and all of a sudden this one appeared and we're just moving to this one. I don't know if it's because it's a hyper lithium ion, but I tell you, I, I have, it's been sitting out here for a week probably now. And, um, yeah, it's, it's still, ah! and the light is still going. It just makes me feel good to do that. So, um, if you need one, if you go to bit.ly slash KKY dash 39, that is, yes, an affiliate link so that um, maybe you can support Nick Knack Yak and the Mash Shack a little bit. Um, I make a cut off of the money that Amazon the man gets. This has been Nick Knack Yak and the Mash Shack. I do it every morning, every weekday morning. Going to get that right someday at 6 a.m. Eastern. And we talk about another random knickknack or thing or object that happens to be here in the Mash Shack. Go to www.math4.com slash KKY. That's Nick Knack Yak. And um, you can see all the past episodes. We are on episode 39. Good, solid, not a prime number, right? It feels like it's a prime number. It's not. So thank you for coming and hanging out with me. And I hope you go and watch all the other ones on YouTube. And you will see this one soon on YouTube as well. All right. I'm Bon Crowder. I'm out.